Hi, my name is Lindsay, and this is my three things speech. Even the smallest objects can hold the most meaning. The three things that are important to me are going to be this black, beige, and um, teal or blue quilt, um, a necklace from graduation, and this letter. So let's get started with my first thing, uh, the quilt. Um, this was given to me when I was about 15 years old. Um, I had been begging and begging my mom to make it for me. I come from a family of quilters, um, and so everybody has gotten a quilt, like, from birth, um, when they graduate, when they get married, stuff like that. And I hadn't received one since I was probably, like, eight, or maybe, like, like, started, like, school, like, started preschool. Um, and so I just didn't have a, a quilt that fit me anymore. I didn't have one that I could use. Um, I had been, like borrowing blankets and stuff from my parents um and so I had finally decided to redecorate my room I repainted it got furniture and I did all of it by myself and around that time I like I said I was begging my mom to make me a quilt a new one something that could fit me that I could use for a long long time um so uh she ended up making me this quilt um I didn't really get to have much input in it. I didn't really see it, anything like that. I just knew that I got to pick out the colors. I made it um, so that it matched my room at home, uh, which is why it's the black, teal, and, and beige. Um, and that was pretty much all that I knew. And then on Christmas, uh, I think I was like 15 or 16, my mom gave it to me. Um, it was one of the only things that I had really gotten that year because I got like other big things for Christmas um, Which was fine. I was totally okay with that and She took so much time to make this. It's a huge quilt. It was supposed to be a twin size and it fits like a queen size bed um, But she put so much time into this and I think it's really beautiful um, She pretty much just free styled it and just did it um without any like instructions. Um, it just means a lot to me because it makes me think of home. It makes me think of all the time and all the hard work that she put into making this quilt. Um, it was really hard to do. <laughs> uh, now for my second thing is the, um, it's this necklace. Um, it was given to me about a week after I graduated from high school at my graduation party. Um, before I got this one, I had a different one that I had been wearing. It was cheap. It was from like a Forever 21 type of store and it finally just broke one day. Um, and I was pretty upset about it. And so on my graduation party day, my parents said that them and my brothers, they all went to the store and they got me a new one. Um, and I just thought that was really nice. It's, it reminds me to like have faith. It reminds me of my family because they all pitched in to buy it. Um, I'm not like the re most religious person or anything, but it, it does remind me to have faith. It is a cross, so um, it just reminds me of that. And for my third thing, um, which is my brother's letter or Evan's letter, uh, for some background, my brother and I were never very close growing up. I have three older brothers. I'm the youngest. I'm the only girl. Um, so he and I never really got along. Um, I grew up in Yakima, so it's about two and a half hours away from Auburn. So when I moved over here to go to school, my brother came with us and... Uh, at the end of the night when everybody was getting ready to go, he gave me a hug and he handed me this little pocket and it had that letter in it. Um, basically, it just says that he's sorry that we couldn't really get along. Um, he loves me. He wants the best for me. Um, and he wants to like try and improve our relationship from now on. And so it just reminds me that even if I don't have the much, that much confidence in myself, um, there's people out there that are rooting for me and they want me to, to do the best that I can. In conclusion, even the smallest things can hold the most meaning. I've talked about three things. My quilt, um, it reminds me of home and it gives me comfort. My second thing was my necklace. 
Um, it wasn't the most expensive, it was from Fred Meyer, uh, but my family gave it to me and that does mean a lot to me. And my third thing is my brother's letter. Um, for example, like, it was written, it was handwritten, it's very well loved, um, and it still makes me cry. And it just reminds me to be confident in myself and that I do have people out there rooting for me. Thank you.